up guys it's Connor Sloan here and today we'll be going through the unboxing and setup of the new Align MR25P racing quad. Okay guys so here it is let's get straight in and do the unboxing and setup. Okay so here's the contents of the box here we've got the Align quad here we've got a different antenna as you can see there's one already on it but you can use this one I think this is for different goggles uh, here we've got a little accessory pack with different wires in uh, we will be using one of them and that will be for the Spectrum DSM2 binding procedure and to link with your satellite and here you can see you've got two different size props okay so for this video I'm going to be doing the setup on a Spectrum transmitter so you're going to need your satellite a smartphone with the MR25 app installed this is how you're going to set it up and your accessory pack you're going to need this this lead to attach from your satellite to the MRS unit okay so firstly you're going to need to take the cover off the quad it's just simple by pulling it up and it should release itself Let's pop it off as you can see there's a battery already inside which we will be using you then want to connect the battery up it won't turn on as you, you've got a switch on the back which will then enable you to turn it on okay so now you want to go ahead and plug this little lead in there's three little ports down here and it's the first one right here by my finger there should be a port that's already got something plugged in it's the one straight next to that and that's for the spectrum spectrum satellite and you want to plug this in with a negative pointing towards you so make sure it's seated in properly and then plug your satellite in on the end okay so now you've got to get your spectrum transmit I've set up a brand new model memory on here and I've put it in airplane mode because that's the mode it's got to be in for the quad to work I've also named it as the Align MR25P so I know what model it is okay so now that we've set up a new model memory on the transmit we can put that to the side for a minute you now need to get your smartphone with the app installed. This is what the icon looks like. Now remember to turn your Bluetooth on. You will now need to power up the quad. By this just turn it round. Make sure your battery is plugged in and then hold the power button in. So now we can go into select device, just search in and choose the Align MRS. As you can see it's trying to connect. And there we go, connected. Okay, so now it's connected, we can head into the setup menu. Okay. Um, this is basically just telling you to make sure every all sticks are at the bottom just in case it spools up. So we're going to go into transmitter type. And here's where you choose what sort of transmitter you're using. We're going to be using the Spectrum DSM2. And then click confirm. And then bind. So now we need to restart the MR25. And it will go into the binding procedure. So just hold the button in as it turns off and turn it back on again you'll see the satellite is flashing. Just quickly connect it again. Now the satellite is flashing we can go to our transmitter, hold your bind button in and turn on. There we go, it's picked it up. And there we go, it's now bound. Okay, so now that we've finished the bind process, when you're back on the screen again, just click the arrow to carry on to the next slide. Here we're in the transmitter settings. This is getting your travel each side on your aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. So as you can see, if I move my aileron, the slider will move. 
and it will give you a percentage of the value that it's going up to. Same with your elevator, throttle and rudder. As you can see, some of these aren't reaching 100. As you can see, the elevator, if I push forward, it's only reaching 95%. To get over that, you want to go to stick travel calibration. Here you want to scroll to the bottom and click start. And here it will go into a calibration mode. So now you want to move all your sticks in the in the way that you want them to go. And it should limit it all out. So hopefully you'll get near enough to 100 as you can. You can see the elevator is 99% now. Pull back, 99%. Aileron 95%. 98. Ninety-eight. That's good enough. And then the same with your throttle as well. And the rudder. Now that's done, you want to click complete. Also, before you go into that stick calibration, I forgot to mention, if you, on your aileron for example, move it to the left and it goes to the right, you want to go into your transmit and reverse the servo. So if it's the aileron that's going the wrong way, you want to reverse the aileron. Okay, so now that we've done the stick calibration, you want to scroll down, you'll come to the motor arm and you come onto a bit of a gimbal settings page. Um, as you can see, the motor's on lock as it's highlighted in the blue square. Um, to put it on arm, I've assigned some of my switches. At the end of the video, I'll put a screenshot of all my switches and what they're assigned to on the different switch tabs. So I've assigned my motor arm switch to this switch back here. So if I flick that, it should go to motor arm. There we are. Flick it off and it should lock again. On the next bit is the channel mode. This is where you have your attitude mode, your normal and your sport. Firstly, I recommend flying on attitude mode and getting used to the quad and then progressing through to your normal and sport. I've assigned this to this switch here. So as I move them, you can see it goes through. And then back again. Um, and on your gimbal mode, this is a few settings with the gimbal. I haven't messed with any of these, but I've also assigned a channel switch to this lever here. And when I move that, the gimbal will move up and down. So as we scroll along the menus by these arrows, here's some settings for the camera just on 1080p and then what sort of size I want the photo to be. They're just standard settings there. As we go on the next one, you've got some more gimbal settings. Here you can see I've got it by control by transmitter and that's where my little lever comes in as I control the gimbal. As you can see, it's moving in the background over there. Or, I don't know if you can see that, but there's one that's unhighlighted, if I unclick that, it goes to tilt auto compensation. This is basically where you're flying around and as you go up and down, the camera automatically compensates and changes the angle for you. And same with these other settings, they're just really to mess around with and find your best personal preferences. Don't forget at the end of each tab you've been to, if you've made any changes, click confirm and it should be written to the MRS unit. Okay, so moving on, when you go on the next menu, uh, you come to some of the warning sites. This is where you can set your battery so it, when it gets to a certain voltage, it'll warn you and tell you when you've got to land. And also, also you've got an automatic power shut off. This is basically, you can set it so when the model isn't active for so long, you can choose how long you want it to be for. Uh, it'll automatically turn itself off. Okay, so now you've set your warning limits, you can carry on to the next page. Here's where the really cool and exciting bit comes in. You can actually change the colours that are already on uh, the the Align Quad. Uh, by doing this, you just got to move your sliders up or down, whatever you want, and you'll also get a little colour box indicator up here. This will tell you what colour will be written to the MRS unit. As you can see, there's a brightness bit down here as well, and that will choose the brightness of... The lights, as you can see, that's really low. Go up a bit more. And they're on, but they're very slow. Um, I found my personal preference, and that's sort of a pinky colour. Let's just get it up. There we go, it's pink. These are the colours that I will be using. I think it looks pretty cool, but that's my own personal preference. You've also got a colour list down here. And here's some values that you can put in for certain colours. Make sure you confirm it to the MRS unit and the colour will be written to it. 
Okay, so now that you've chose your colours, make sure you click confirm. Uh, you want to move on to the next tab. For some reason it just went off there, we'll just go quickly back to it. Here we are, and here's sort of what display you want to show up if you're recording on the camera or whatnot. But I shan't mess with any of that and move on. Here's all your information that you've done. Basically, this is just telling you, and you can go through and make sure that everything is correct move on from there okay so now here we've got to a motor test you don't want to put your props on for this you should be able to do it from i as you can see the motors are labeled one two three and four when you click begin test it will put a sequence into the motors and it will just make sure that they're spinning the right way i will show this now by clicking this uh, okay You can do that again if you didn't see it correctly. It will just basically show you which way the motors are showing. So on here it should say that motor 1 should spin to the left, motor 2 to the right, motor 3 to the left, motor 4 to the right. Do that again. So cool, that's all working right. Then we can go to the next slide. So basically here we have a bit of a tab where if you crash your quad, unfortunately, and you can't find it after 60 or so many seconds that you set it for I've set it for one minute I just turned it off for the video so it doesn't keep buzzing all the way through just turned it on now so basically it's got a beeper in it so it will start beeping so basically it's easier for you to find it if you can hear a sound buzzing away in the middle of a field so just write that to it confirm and basically here at the end of the setup procedure is a channel list now this is basically the channel that you'll be using for your goggles if you do have goggles and you want to get into the actual racing uh, basically so channel 5 is band day and it's all in a little unit of here you can see what you're already on you just program that to your goggles and that's it okay so now that the setup is now complete you need to find a suitable place for your satellite uh, the best place for this, and this is where I'm going to put it, I'm going to unplug it and stick it underneath this board here. You can do this by unscrewing this, lifting it up and just sticking it on by some double sided tape. Um, you'll also need to stick your battery down. Within the kit that you get, there will be some double sided velcro and you can just stick that on there. Uh, make sure you get the centre of gravity right as well because that will be very important whilst it's flying. And then you'll re need to reconnect this ribbon cable. On the top front of this um, flight recorder, there are two black lugs. You want to pull that out, which then enable you to slide the ribbon cable in. I will do all that now. Okay, guys, I've now done all that. I've connected the battery on by Velcro and a strap that is provided within the kit. I've also reconnected the ribbon cable to the uh, video recorder. I've also put the satellite inside, I've taken off this top carbon plate which is held on by 12 screws, just unscrew and it should all come off. You just stick it on and screw it all back down and I've also put on the props. The props are labelled by an R or an L, this means that they are left rotation or right rotation. You'll know which motor they go on because on the motor it will have an L or an R on it and they are specific to what ones they go on. Uh, we will now put the canopy back on. There we are, it just clips on nicely. Peel this protective cover off. And that's it, that is the new Align MR25P Racing Quad. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, please stay tuned for future videos. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.